This article discusses the upcoming reenactment of the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School shooting in Parkland, Florida, as part of a lawsuit against former Sheriff's Deputy Scott Peterson. The reenactment aims to determine whether Peterson's defense, claiming he stayed outside the building because he couldn't determine where the gunshots were coming from, is viable. Although Peterson was found not guilty of criminal charges, he could still face liability in the civil suit brought by victims' families and a survivor. If the reenactment will involve firing 140 live rounds of bullets and using the same type of semi-automatic rifle and caliber of cartridges used by the shooter, no students will be on campus during the reenactment. The article also examines the debate surrounding whether a good guy with a gun can effectively stop gun violence. It highlights incidents where armed law enforcement officers fail to neutralize shooters, as well as a study suggesting that the presence of an armed guard may increase shooters' aggression. Right despite this, many states permit school staff and teachers to carry guns on campus, and Texas has mandated armed officers on every school campus after a previous shooting. 